Hey guys, so I recently just learned how to do a French braid, which I've always really wanted to learn how to do, but I just like never knew how to do it. And now I know how to do it, so I thought, why not teach you guys how to do it? So, if you want to know how to do a fishtail braid or a French braid, just keep on watching this video. In this video, you're going to see me, like, I'm not even looking at the camera right now, but now I am, so hey. But in this video, you're going to see me looking, like, over that way, I guess, a lot. Because that's basically what I'm using as my mirror, so I can see what I'm doing. So, yeah. So the first hairstyle you will be learning is the French braid and you are going to need a hairbrush and a rubber band. And once you get to your hairbrush and rubber band, you are just going to make a straight part down the center of your head. And it really helps if you run your finger up along your nose because your finger is obviously in the middle of your face. And then that should make the perfect part in the middle. Then this is optional, but usually the part of my hair that I'm not using, I will put in the, a bun so that it's just not in the way when I'm trying to braid the other side of my hair. Now you're going to get the section of hair that is closest to your face. Then I like to make a peace sign with my hands and then put it in the center of that so you have three perfect pieces that are all the same size for the braid. Then you will be taking the piece of hair which is farthest from your face and remember to put that piece of hair above the piece of hair that is in the middle because if you put it below it will just not work. Then you're just going to be doing the same thing with the piece of hair that's closest to your face. Now when you take away the piece of hair that's farthest from your face, you're going to be adding hair to it. So that's how you get the French part in, so it like is connected to your head. Now with the rest of all of the pieces, you'll be doing the same thing that you just did with the piece of hair that was farthest away from you. And it might seem complicated, but once you really get the pattern going, it'll be a lot easier the next time you do it. So it will just take a little bit of practice. you get to the end where there's no extra hair left you just start to do a normal braid and it will end up like this now moving on to the fish tail usually for a braid you use three pieces of hair but now you're only going to use two then from one of those sides, you're going to take a little piece of hair out and then transfer it to the other side of your head. Then you are going to do the exact same thing and then transfer that to the other side of your head. And then once again, it's another pattern that you just have to get used to. I personally think that a fishtail is easier than a French braid, but everyone also has their own opinions. I also noticed while making this video, if you use smaller pieces to transfer over, it will look a lot better rather than using thick pieces. Although, if you are doing just one fishtail, I definitely recommend using thicker pieces to transfer over. But if you are using two, definitely use smaller pieces so you have more hair left over for the very bottom. this video give it a thumbs up because I really enjoyed making this video because 
I love doing my hair. Give it a thumbs up if you want more hair videos. And if you're not already subscribed to me, make sure to subscribe. I haven't really been posting that often, but if you have any video suggestions you would like me to do, please comment them down below because it's a lot easier to make a video when you like have suggestions, which is kind of obvious. So I don't know why I just said that. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Bye. party man watch me do my dance I'm a whip and dab so today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a fishtail braid and a French bit what what am I saying pipe it up and stab I have no life